And that, my friends, has been a recap of our day, brought to you by the first day of winter break. Yes, folks, it's been a very lazy day here around the apartment. We are not even leaving the house, and therefore I do not have a bag of the day. So sad. And welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. I do have the tea of yesterday. It is still quite warm. I can actually feel this one through the outer layer of the glass. It's the first time that's happened. This is the hot chocolate tea. You can see that it's quite dark. It has that fake chocolatey smell that I'm really not crazy about. The taste isn't so bad. It really didn't have much of a taste there. It was pretty bland, but it had a little bit of that fake chocolatey taste on the end, not one that I would buy. Since nothing much is going on at all today, I have wrapped a few presents, I've cleaned up a little bit, but mostly we're just laying around watching YouTube videos. It's a good thing that Autumn of Vlogmas Past thought ahead. So let's visit her as she tells us about a subscription box in honor of these good dogs called the Good Dog Box from Wine Dog. Unboxings are so fun. This is one of my favorite subscription boxes, Wine Dog. But look what someone did. Someone took a Sharpie to the sticker on the front. Not sure why. Don't know why wine is marked out. And uh, not sure what those other shapes are supposed to be. Hmm, interesting. But let's see what's in the box. For Black Friday, I ordered two of their specialty boxes. I don't know if they're past boxes or if they're boxes that they have in the shop that are just a special theme. But I ordered two of them. One was the Margarita box and one was the Good Dog box. So not sure which one this is. This is interesting. The tape is broken on it. The seal is broken. I didn't do that. Huh. Let's see what's in here. Hope everything is in order. Looks like it is. First glance, oh no, haven't opened it up to see yet, but okay, let's see. So here is the inside, and of course we have paper. Yeah, it's still sealed, so it should be okay. So I got some of these same, okay, interesting. So I got some of the same um, literature as last time. This card, and then this card about how to enjoy your wine dog box, which is basically curling up on the couch with wine and snacks for yourself and the wine in the box and snacks in the box for your pup. And enjoying the evening together, drinking and snacking. And then this card, I won't show you the other side because it has spoilers, but it says it's the June 2019 box. There's what the logo is supposed to look like with the dog with the glass and bottle of wine, and it says wine dog. Why would somebody mark that out? Strange. There are some mysteries in this universe that will never be solved. Some questions that will never be answered. Oh. This is the good dog box. I can tell that from the first item here. All right, I don't know what everything is in here, but look at that treat container. I'm guessing that's a treat container. So cute. You're gonna hear me say so cute like 50 million times in this video. So get out your own glass of wine and make it a drinking game. Here is a tin. You can see it's like galvanized, it galvanized steel. Is that the right word for it? Has that logo on both sides, or that's not a logo, has the design on both sides. And it has this cool lid made of wood, which really doesn't fit it very well because the top's a little crooked. So I'll have to straighten that out, not a big deal, put the top on. Oh, I meant to say, I think these boxes are usually $30 and they had them for 20 on the Black Friday sale, so that's why I bought two of them. Next thing I see is this. This is a bag. Wake up, hug the dog, have a happy life. So true, and that's how I live my life. Then the ends of the bag have this sort of bandana looking print. Cute. I like the size of this bag too. Sometimes it's nice to have one of these smaller bags and not the giant shopping totes. These are great for a to-go lunch, for example. It's like a waterproof material. It was the same as, I have it right here, the same material as this pouch, that crinkly stuff that you can't rip. Ooh, 
Here's the toy for the dogs. Zippy Tough Squeaker Ball. Now, you may recall my dogs don't play with toys. There we go, squeakers. I think I'm more interested than they are. I won't do it again, won't hurt your ears. Maybe it'll be a stocking stuffer for a dog I know. I don't, I don't know, I'll give it to some dog who will appreciate it more than my dogs will. Ah, the treats. This is their favorite part of the box. Mutt Mellow's Banana Buddies. Wheat, corn, and soy free. That's good, because I'm picky about what I feed my dogs. And Well, I'm not all that picky, but like I don't like to give them prepared stuff that's just corn and whatnot. This is rolled oats, honey, palm oil, whey, vanilla, rice flour, banana, and natural smoke flavor. Smoked bananas. And it's made in the USA by the Lazy Dog Cookie Company. Well, my dogs will love those. My lazy dogs will love those. Next in the box, the Fetch Me Grigio. I think this is the same one we have right now that we got in the last box, which is A-OK. -okay. I haven't tried this with them yet. We'll have to do this in the Vlogmas. And next, I think there are two more things in the box. Oh, cute. These are magnets. Love with the paw print over here. All you need is love and a dog. That's true. And beware of wiggle butts. My two aren't so much wiggle butts, but I've had dogs that are for sure. I had this cocker spaniel named Barney. I mean, he was, that's what we call him, wiggle butt. And then the last thing in here, nice, a notebook. And it says, my goal in life is to be the person my dog already thinks I am. Oh, I, I think I already am that person, but maybe I'm thinking too highly of myself. And then on the back, it has this heart with the paw print and some nice aligned pages. Oh, and the back here, is a pocket. Nice. It's always nice to have a pocket in a notebook so you can slip little papers in because I don't know about you, but for me, I always have little papers I need to slip in notebooks. This one's really cute. Well, I'm glad I ordered this box. Totally worth the 20 bucks. And this should still be available on their website, so I will link it below if you are interested in picking up the good dog box. The good dogs are very patiently waiting for their cookie, so it is time for advent calendar time we're looking for sugar fina day 21 and i think it's back here around the corner gosh we're already on the last row it doesn't seem like it's been that long sugar cookies a teeny tiny sugar cookie is dipped in white chocolate then sprinkled with sh super fine sugar. Okay, not sure if I'm gonna like that, but let's see. Hello, Roxy. Not my favorite, but it's very interesting from start to finish. And it's less because of the flavor, more the texture. It's very granulated sugar crunchy on the outside. That's where I taste the sugar cookie. And then you bite inside and you get a soft white chocolate and you get that major sweetness from the white chocolate. I don't taste a sugar cookie or feel a sugar cookie in the very center. Tasted better than I thought, but it's not one that I would buy personally. Okay, we're looking for day 21 or door 21 on this calendar. There it is. <laughs> Lay ride, sweet, tart, and spicy. This has apple, hibiscus blossoms, pineapple, papaya, beetroot, cinnamon, raisins, coconut, roasted almonds, popped rice, interesting, natural and artificial flavoring, contains almonds and coconut, and may contain other tree nuts. This sounds similar to some other things that we've tried from David's Tea. Looking forward to that one tomorrow. I'm sure I'll like it better than this hot chocolate tea. Hello, Roxy. Now it's do-it-yourself advent calendar time. The very observant of you will notice that that one with the red ribbon is new. That's for day 25. I was waiting for it to arrive and it's finally here. This one, however, is for day 21. This is another tiny organizer for another tiny bag. This one is bigger than the others though. This is actually made for the Louis Vuitton Eva bag. You know that crossbody bag that's kind of small? This is one I'm very interested to try. Looks like we've got one big pocket there, two pockets on this side, and this little card or lipstick holder. And I will link this in the description box below. I think Lily is ready for dog cookie advent calendar time. She figured this game out fast. Thank you. 
Door number 21. Door number 21. Where is it? There it is. Seems like it's been broken into already. Uh, but the cookie is safe. Good girl. Ow. Well, so much for not losing my hand. <laughs>